mother and her two young children killed in a fiery crash over the weekend in Delaware County. Some good Samaritans rescued the driver seconds before that fire consumed the car. Fox 59's Lindsay Eaton talked to one of those good Samaritans who calls yesterday the worst day of his life. A burned patch in this field in rural Delaware County marks where a heartbreaking crash happened. It's a very sad situation. Just after 4 o'clock Sunday afternoon, a woman was driving along South County Road 600 West. She went off on the east side of the roadway and hit a culvert. And as a result of hitting this culvert, she went airborne and flipped multiple times. Moments after the crash, Myron Krantz happened to be driving by and saw the car flipped over and a small fire starting. Immediately, he stopped, ran up to the scene, and saw two women inside. They were yelling, at least one of them was yelling, uh, please help us, help us, please. There were two women in the driver and passenger seat, and those weren't the only ones in the car. She and was yelling, there are two babies in the back. We have two babies. I looked in the back seat. There were two beautiful babies in car seats. Krantz and two of his family members turned into first responders. The flames were already under the dashboard in the car, and I pulled her up. The third time, I pulled her all the way out. They rescued the 54-year-old driver. She's the grandma to the young kids and the mom of the other woman. Krantz then tried to break the back window. On the third hit, the glass finally broke and black smoke poured out. I reached in to try to feel one of the babies, and I brought my hands back, and I had a, a baby blanket in my hands. Then I, uh, I thought, oh, Lord, help me. Krantz reached in one more time, but the smoke and flames were too intense. The two young children and their 30-year-old pregnant mom didn't survive. It's just awful. There's no way to answer why this happened. But we love them, and there are a lot of people praying for them. In Delaware County, Lindsay Eaton, Fox 59 News. Lindsay, thank you. As always, investigators are not sure what caused the driver to go off the road. Drugs and alcohol are not believed to be factors. The names of the victims have not yet been released. Let's take a turn towards our weather here right now. A